Welcome to this quick start overview to get you running with Perfectly Clear Complete. This video will help you use the plugin with Adobe Lightroom. You'll find additional training tutorials on our website and YouTube channel that go into greater detail on all features. Let's start with installing Perfectly Clear. If you've purchased Perfectly Clear Complete, you should receive a download link in your email. You can also point your web browser towards athentech.com slash downloads slash apps manager to download our apps manager software. This handles installing software, managing your licenses, and add-ons. The installation is managed by the Athentech application manager. Run the apps manager download first. The apps manager should launch automatically after installation. Then click the install button to install our plugin. Ensure your host program is closed. You can activate your software right from the Apps Manager or even purchase there too. If you've downloaded the free trial and then purchased from the Apps Manager, the activation happens automatically. The Apps Manager is also useful at keeping your software up to date and showing you the latest add ons. Now let's take a look at the user interface. There are two ways to use Perfectly Clear in Lightroom. We'll look at the first. Select one or more photos in the library module and choose Photo. Edit in Perfectly Clear Complete V3. Choose how you want to open the selected images or if you want to work with a copy. If opening RAW files, you'll need to work with a copy of the image as Lightroom doesn't let filters apply to RAW photos. Make sure you're in the Library module when you choose multiple photos. If you're in the Develop module, only one photo will open. The selected images open in the Perfectly Clear Complete plugin. Let's make things easier to see by clicking the Maximize Window button. You can also press the Accent key to take the window full screen. Your resize window state will be remembered the next time you open the plugin. Now, let's explore the plugin. Across the top is your toolbar. First, you'll find the Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons to change your view. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts of Command plus or minus on a Mac, or Control plus or minus on a Windows system to zoom. Next is the magnification amount. You can click once to fit the image, or click again to zoom to 100%. Pressing the Z key will also toggle between zoom and fit. To judge the effect of the perfectly clear plugin, you can try the three different view modes. These make it easier to judge what's happening to your photo. The default view, full preview window, shows you only the before and after at a single time. You can click and hold on the image or press the space bar to see the before and after state. The next button is the double view, which lets you see a side-by-side -side comparison. The third choice is split view, which shows you the before and after in one frame. You can also press the space bar to toggle the before and after view. Next are the presets. Click the drop-down list to switch between groups. You can click on an icon to apply a preset or hover over an icon to read a description. Click Learn to access online resources. Click Close to skip applying the filter. And Save to apply Perfectly Clear Complete. To control Perfectly Clear, you'll find two panels. If you don't see the panels, just press the Tab key to toggle their visibility. The left panel contains both the default and user-created presets. These are organized by function and can provide either a one-click fix or a great starting point. You can also create an unlimited number of your own custom presets. In the right panel, you could take complete control over the corrections applied to your image. To turn an adjustment on or off, simply click the checkbox or click on its name. You can also click on the blue dot for an adjustment group to turn off multiple effects. If you'd like to make more room, you can also collapse or expand each section. Use the histogram and its clipping indicators to judge the exposure of a photo. Blue indicates clipped shadows, and red means a clipped highlight. You can quickly change your view to make it easier to work. Press the Tab key to hide or reveal both panels, or Shift-Tab to cycle through views. You can also click the triangle here to open and close a panel individually. In this view, you'll get a very large preview image. This makes it easy to work with just the presets and the strength slider. 
If you want more control, you can open either panel. The left will make it easy to manage and browse your presets, and use the right panel for complete control. Now, let's try modifying an image. I'll select a photo in my Lightroom library and choose Photo, Edit In, Edit In Perfectly Clear Complete. I now need to choose how to handle it. Since this is a RAW file, I'll edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, and I'm going to choose to work in the sRGB space at 16 bits per channel. The file is now handed off to Perfectly Clear Complete. By default, the Intelligent Auto Adjustment is selected. Let's use this as a starting point. In the Tone category, I could adjust the exposure. I prefer a lower value here, but that looks good. You'll see that the Face Aware option is enabled, which automatically analyzes the face to determine the right exposure value. Use Depth, High Contrast, for more contrast in the scene. That's really helping the clothing to pop. I can also favor a brighter depth bias to really bring out some of the brightness in the skin so it's not quite so red, and diffuse the scene with soft light. From the color section, there are many choices. Color Restore will restore color to areas that are washed out or lack information, and that does a nice job of bringing back true lifelike color. Fidelity will also remap colors that are not accurately captured by the camera sensor. You'll see here that some of the blues and greens need to be moved into the right space. From details, I can sharpen the image, and if there is noise, I can also remove it. Perfectly Clear detected one face automatically. If I click, it'll zoom right into that subject. Using Eye Enhance, I can bring out some of the details in the eyes, adding a bit of light and sharpness. Eye Enlarge is also useful for squinting here in the bright sun. We can apply just a slight open to the eyes. And Dark Circle Removal fills in any of the shadows caused by the light. Let's go to the skin section. I'll press Z to zoom in to 100% and take a look at some of the details. Skin looks good. I'm just going to reduce the smoothing and make sure it's applied to the full body. A little bit of shine removal for being outdoors and reduce the blemishes slightly. Zoom back out. That's looking really good on the skin. For makeup, I'm just going to add a little bit of blush to her cheeks at a lower value, and you see that that just puts a little bit of warmth in there. You can also apply a foundation color if you'd like, and use that to lift up the toning on the skin a little bit. When you're ready to apply the adjustment to an image, simply click the Save button to apply it. If you've opened up multiple images, you can click Save All to process each photo. The adjusted images are returned to your library and grouped with the originals. Perfectly Clear can also do a batch process if you want to save a lot of time. While in the library mode of Lightroom, select the images that need to be batch processed. You could then choose File, Export. Select a preset, as well as other options for things like watermarks and resizing. For more on batch processing, be sure to watch the video, Perfectly Clear Batch Processing, with Lightroom. This concludes our quick start video on how to use Perfectly Clear with Adobe Lightroom. Be sure to watch more video tutorials to get the most out of your software. Thanks for watching.